Hey, what's up guys? So we are playing Zectors. We are playing with one Hornet and one Dragonfly. So we have the Heart of the Cards, plus we have a Lure of Darkness. We opened up, I'd say, almost too good. Uh, I'm just going to set this. Does it allow me to uh, basically draw a card? Uh, one Card Trooper dies, and it's totally cool. Um, usually you want to use Card Trooper to attempt to mill the one Hornet that you have. Or you can mill Dragonfly. It's not bad because I'm, I'm running three Call of the Haunteds now because, you know, the... We gotta find ways to make Dragonfly work. So this is gonna be the new Insectors. There's also only two dwellings in here. This is basically the uh, the list that we know, uh, we all know that uh, is most likely to be real. So he's gonna pull Marani Captain. I've seen some lineup players pull out a card off. Oh no, it's not. It's uh, what is the card? Heroic Tongue. Okay. So then uh, the X Y Z gains a thousand attack. That's a lot of attack. It's not bad. Fusion Gate. Oh. I say fusion gain, I think OTK, FTK, uh, but I have Gore, so I don't think that'll happen this turn. Let's see uh, what he does. I'm interested to see how this deck plays out. Um, although these are not the same level, so maybe he's got a way to, uh, to fusion with it. I don't think I have any fusions. I don't even have Mystical Sand. Oh, I was going to uh, remove Bubble Man, and what else would I remove? Um... On Earth, uh, to make Gaia. Oh, double Bubble Man. So probably absolute zero. I mean, then you, oh no, you know he, he wants to keep Bubble Man. <laughs> and uh, this guy is a nine hundred. So just so you know, he's not like some someone that's playing some bad deck. Although this deck could still be a bad deck, um, just because I, I don't know about the the Marauding Captain plus this like. I mean, does he? He really needs to get over that. Oh, he's got instant fusion too. Okay. So like, he, he really, really wants to get over my card trooper. He has to pay a thousand. Take that. I'm ahead of the game now <laughs> with my extra thousand life points. Um, but he might be able to FDK me. I want to see if he can possibly FDK me. Because he can go for Levier and bring back Bubble Man and boost Alpha Zero up by three, uh, an extra 500 attack. So that'll be interesting. I do have Gores though. And. Uh, but once I get rid of Abzu, I lose <laughs> my card too. Oh no! Okay, so he's gonna go for Invoker. I like the combo. So let's see what he can pull off. Okay, so he's going to go for Effective Invoker, and uh, he's going to special summon uh, one level for Earth or Beast. Uh, can he special summon? And go with. I don't know what he's going for. Maybe another one of these. And then wow! Hold on, this is pretty insane actually because. Now he can go for Heroic Champion Excalibur, and Excalibur will gain 2,000 additional attack. That's pretty cool. Oh, he's going for Wild Heart. Okay, I like this. This is a pretty cool combo deck. Fusion Gate, um, XYZs, I don't know what you want to call it, but I like it. It seems interesting. So he can make Heroic Champion Excalibur. Um, if he only went for another one of these, could he go for one of that, right? Uh, Beast Warrior type. Oh, hold on, wait, what? Beast or Warrior? Earth Warrior. Yeah, he could have went for another one of these. Oh, okay. Okay, so he, he can't, everything's good with that. I thought he was gonna make Heroic Champion Excalibur and then detach both materials. And uh, he's going to fusion with that, okay. Okay, so that will die. And we get our effective card trooper, take that. We're gonna draw one card, ooh, MSC, which I can use to get rid of Fusion Gate. He basically is going all in for this play and, um, I'm gonna go for Gaia, but once I take um, 3200, um, I can drop Gores. And then he, pretty much from there, there's like no outs. Uh, he should have attacked with the other one first. I will take 32, and we will special summon this in defense mode, along with a token in defense mode. <laughs> and then pretty much at this point, he's lost the game. He went all in. He had a pretty cool combo, but unfortunately, Gores was like, what's up, guys? And then on top of that, you guys, I got the Insectors. I felt like he really should have kept Abzu on the field because now he's, you know, very vulnerable to cards like Dark Hole. Interesting deck, and I honestly opened up way too good, especially because, um... He can still actually go for a uh, like Great Tornado or something, though. That, that is an option for him. But I have, again, to play. He's got zero cards in hand, no back row. Um, and, yeah. yeah. Um, he can kill that, though. That is an option. That's why I put it in defense mode. Alrighty. So, we have lots of options. Ooh, Valor, too. Okay, so well, I can pop everything. And... Uh, yeah, I don't even need to pop the Fusion Gate, because like he only has one card that he can possibly draw into. Um... I'm trying to think of like, anything you could possibly draw into. Huh. Well, either way, I'm going to go for this. <laughs> so 
So I, I honestly opened up way too good, as you guys know from the start of this game. <laughs> so we are going to go pop pop, and at that point, it just circles so much damage. So you guys can see, I'm not lying, I only play one Hornet, one Dragonfly. Um, and then we're going to special summon. Pretty much we have the combo. And then, um, <laughs> we got really lucky, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah. And then we send that here again. We get rid of that guy. And then, this is also at 32. Now, um, I can go for some fusions that I don't have. Yeah, I have no fusions. Um, <laughs> he went all out because of me. And I always have Gores. Or Trigodia. I think I'm playing Trigodia here. Um, oh, Centipede Effect. Um, we get two ads. So I actually get to check my deck. Do I play Trigodia? Yes, I do. I play two, which I think is pretty good. But the thing is, like, now with the Insector play, like, you can only go for, like, what, Centipede? That's, like... The only other card you can go for that's good. I mean, you could add Gigamantis just for some damage. Um, I don't know if I want to set this. Oh, I could just go Allure of Darkness. I mean, just to see what we can draw and do. Uh, well, that goes away. Um, banished forever into the Shadow Realm. Okay, so uh, we can go... And, do we have anything that we can chain to get back? Oh, yeah, back card trooper. Okay, that's good. Um, I'm trying to think of what he can, like, basically top deck. I don't think he can top deck anything. Wait. I got this. I got this. I got this. How can I figure it out? Insectors are so unfair with a lure of darkness. <laughs> They're so good. Let's put that back in the graveyard so we can get that back next turn. And then we can go and um, get back um, this card once again. And we're going to attack first because then technically we get more damage in that way. Um, so this is actually the lowest attacking monster. And this one's at 21 because Hornet boosts up my centipede. And Oh, nope. Uh, And then we attack. Oh, that's game. <laughs> wow. Oh wait, hold on. He oh he took third two. Okay. Okay. So, oh, never mind. I thought that was game. Okay. Because I can't do math, as you guys know. Um, so we're gonna horn it. We're gonna pop that, and then we can search it out again. And we will we add. Actually, we could have made a game. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we had game. I should have popped it and then added Yigamantis, equip Yigamantis. Um, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, 21, 32, and 18. Oh. Yeah, actually, he does lost. <laughs> he did lose anyways. <laughs> but it was a cool deck, and you could see, I really felt like I opened up broken. Oh, no, just Stratos. Stratos, go. No, we failed that. <laughs> but um, I opened up way too good, even though, um, yeah, if, if I didn't have Gores, I probably would have lost. Definitely. I felt like he didn't need to go for the commit of losing Absolute Zero, because if it's Absolute Zero, it, it ruins a lot of things. But I mean, he, he got to destroy a card trooper, I guess. Interesting deck, I like his idea. Um, I think what would've been really cool, I think this is actually technically more damage, but like, that could really be deadly if you did the um, the MX Invoke, the play that he did, and if he would've went for um, the play where he went for double these plus this, that becomes 4,400. That's insane. And you get like an Ab Zero, like that's, it, it seems like this, this deck could have some potential just to be, you know, something for fun. I think it has some potential for some fun OTKs because you can pull off some pretty cool combos. I like that combo that uh, our player um, in the blue pulled off. Interesting deck. But yeah, basically in Zekers, um, I feel like if you get the Dragonfly or you mill the Dragonfly because uh, right now for this build, I'm playing Triple Call of the Haunted because like I I'm playing double Trooper, so like Trooper's a good card to get back anyways. Um, yeah, pretty interesting uh, to see... Uh, that deck, and I feel like in Zectors, if you get off the play once, though, like, the problem is, like, again, like, what do you add after, after you, you know, Centipede, like, you can add Gigamantis, you can add another Centipede, wait, can you, can you not add Centipede? Uh, okay, you can, you can add another Centipede, okay, I didn't cheat there, um, but, um, yeah, if you add, like, another Centipede or Gigamantis, like, that's okay, but, like, Dragonfly was the go-to card, interesting deck, though. 
And uh, right now I'm playing Cyber Dragon so I can go for like rank fives easier with like uh, the Ladybug because I'm playing la two Ladybugs as well. But uh, thanks for watching guys. Asian Eyes White Dragon signing out.